and we should be live. So this is a Bug House World Championship match of Little Blockin and Grinda My Grande versus 12 Teen and Chicken Cross Road. It's the round robin portion of the open section. Uh, so this is the second round of the round robin. Um, and next week will be the third round, third and final round of the round robin. And after that, we will figure out who is in the final two teams and who is playing for third versus fourth. Um, so I have, as co-commentators, we have Naveen, we have Relapse, uh, probably FM Chess Kid will jump in here shortly, and we're hoping to get other people. Um, oh, Plotkin <laughs> was a little late. He says he was showering to get ready for the match. Um, so I'm going to open a prediction right now for who will win this particular match. We'll open it for 15 minutes, I guess. Um, it, it sounds like they're saying ready soon, so it might be another few minutes before the match starts. But let's get your predictions in. So on Twitch now, you can wager channel points. And uh, let me advertise this a few places. Um, you can wager channel points, as many channel points as you want on one side or the other. There's already a few channel points in there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see what's going on. So last night, 12 Teen and Chicken were warming up by playing their opponents from last round. Uh, they played uh, Blitz Bullet and um, Gogo -Go Burritos, uh, though on different handles. And Blitz Bullet and Gogo -Go Burritos did a lot better than they did in the actual round. I think the final score... Was something like something like 49 to, to 25 or something like that they the score was about two to one um whereas i think the actual score in the match was something like 16 to 3 or 16 to 2. um so so that was interesting i did not stream that match um but because uh, i, I kind of I noticed it when they were already like 15 games deep and I don't really like uh, I don't really like covering matches in the middle of it like that but if I had learned earlier I definitely would have covered it Joey are okay. you there oh I am it looks like we're starting chicken so already yeah chicken made a bishop battery um, and he looks like he lost the bishop, but oh, thanks for the follow from Cheesy Duder. I don't know if that's an homage to Cheesy Bread, who is the fixed handle of uh, 12 Teen. So, anyway, the, I think most people would expect 12 Teen and Chicken to win this match, but Grind and Plotkin are. Pretty good themselves. They're speedy. I think they can match up and even beat 12 teen and chicken speed. And Plotkin can definitely hold his own. Grind is most likely the, the weak link here, but you know, when I say weak link, like they're all really, really good players. So anything can happen. Chicken on the attack and he has mate. So the first the first game nice. will go to chicken twelve teen. Yeah, I agree with Jake. I was thinking, uh, I'm at 88, Queen takes T7. It's good too. So we are in the house Discord in the house party channel. Co commentators here I have Relapse, Naveen, FM Chess Kid. Uh, I don't know who AMA Laba is, but he is in the channel as well. So Chicken is really decimated in Plotkin's back rank. But Chicken's King is a little bit sketchy. 
a rook would be good for plotkin. And it looks like Grind is trying to force the rook. Um, rook on g3 doesn't have very many places to go. The chicken's going to try to keep initiative here. If he loses initiative, then he's going to have to defend e8 or walk his king. Bad me. Uh, I guess Grind missed it. And he's going for a king walk. So it's interesting this grind returns knight on h3 is actually helping 12 team to defend here. It's hard for grind to get in there without retreating his knight. So 12 team has all the initiative. He can put diagonals on on h6 all day long. He's going to attack, try to promote some pawns, probably knight at. Nice mate by 12 teen. And chicken indeed went for a run, but it was a safe run. Uh, I don't know what that means, cheesy dude, but okay. Chicken's castled king seems a little bit unsafe. Chicken's probably going to have to give up his queen here, and he does give up his queen. Whoa, maiden one missed by Plotkin, but Plotkin still gets checkmate the next move. I think Plotkin was pre moving there. So our score is now, oh, did I misunderstand who made it to? What's the score? Is it two to nothing or is it? It's two to one. Oh, two to one. That's what I, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Two to one. Our score is two to one, favor and chicken 12 team. And Kayanari in the uh, chess com chat is pointing out chicken is higher rated than 12 team. Which is unusual. Uh, unusual recently, at least. Chicken trying to keep the initiative. Attack the dark squares. 12 teens king is in trouble. And Grind's king seems fairly safe. 12 team forcing a queen trade, which is going to benefit his partner. Uh, but they are slightly down. So Grind is going to wait before trading these queens. And after he trades the queens, looks like 12 teens king is going to be in some trouble. The chicken is going to have to find some moves to keep this king in trouble um, and also keep his own king safe. So I guess a possible move would be knight at h, knight at h7, or he could put the knight closer to his own king for safety's sake, or he could push d4 to try to prevent this dark square bishop from doing anything annoying. And he does push that pawn, I thought he would. I guess he can grab this bishop here. Hawking is pre-moving these moves, and now the rook still mates, but still down time. So Grind is now down a bunch of time. That game didn't end in mate, but ended in flag. Um, and basically, 12 and Chicken were able to keep the pressure up. Plotkin had to basically pre-move every move. And eventually, Grind and Plotkin got down time. It, it's a lot of pressure when, when your opponents make you pre-move every move, and they get to think about their moves. Hey, young UK baller. A match between the open winners and the under 2000 winners. That would be interesting. Well, 
what is this meme? <laughs> Everyone is uh, repeating it. So yeah, it would be a major upset if Chicken and 12 team lost. No one else in this... Uh... <laughs> okay, we have a ton of people on this call and everyone's muted. I don't know why, because I'd love to hear from more of you. More of you. Grind is dead. Okay. Yeah, That's my insight. Yeah, yeah the, so 12 team is piling up on D7, and he also could take uh, E6 at some point uh, to make a weakness on F7. So we might see knight takes e6. We do. And this queen is trapped too. So he could always get the queen for his partner. Chicken's king is in some danger itself. Plotkin is up time though. Yeah, eight it's seconds a is, a, is a huge amount of time. This might actually not be so bad for Grind and Plotkin somehow. Yeah, for sure. Plotkin is one of the best people out there at at finding a win when his partner is dead. But on the other hand, Chicken is one of the best players out there at defending. Okay, this is a win for sure. Plotkin should have easy mate here. Oh, okay, but may oh, maybe nice. not. I think he needs a few diagonals. Now Plotkin's just trying to flag chicken. Yeah. And succeeding. Probably. Yeah. Dang. Wow. So our score right now is three to two. Favor and twelve teen and chicken, and I so I think. So does anyone remember the score from, uh, Goku Burritos and J Kid uh, versus twelve teen and chicken? Was it like sixteen? I think it was fifteen one, right? If they only took one game, I thought they took one game. Okay. Yeah, they only so, took one. So Plotkin and Grind have already done done better than, than J Kid and Burritos versus twelve teen chicken. Oops. The chicken is Sacken on Plotkin. I don't think Sacken is necessarily the best strategy because Plotkin plays so fast that they're going to be down time. Chicken is not going to get fed the pieces that he needs to do the kill shot. Um. Though it it's possible that it's possible that Plotkin may be maybe slower or less accurate when he defends than he attacks. That might be the strategy at hand here. So grind has a target on C seven in twelve teens position. And he's gonna try to pick up some pieces here and, and attack. So pieces would be great for grind, but they are not up time. I think the grind plotkin team is used to be an up time, so it's kind of jarring for them if they're down time. Because for most other teams, grind would be able to sit for like a few pieces to just have the kill shot here. But instead he's gonna have to roll out some moves without feed. Pawn mates for grind. Pawn doesn't come, unfortunately. That's true. A pawn does not come. And 12th is going to be able to get safe with bishop takes c7. Um, and he's also threatening pawn takes rook, so grind has to deal with that. And both have occurred on the board here. Wow, this is a nice is attack by 12 team. He's Does this even work? Uh, I think it does. Work. It absolutely does. 
I have made him one. And and the idea there, by the way, was like it, it looked like he had bishop takes, but that displaced the bishop, so a knight check would have worked uh, on the second rank there. I don't know where this meme is coming from, but um, I may have to start timing people out if you get really out of hand. So 12 teen chicken is up time here. And it looks like pawn, one pawn mates for 12 teen. On an e2. Well, with two queens, certainly. Yeah, now we have knight takes, knight back, or new knight in, even better. Our score right now is 6 to 2, favor and chicken and 12 teen. Blocking and grind got a few early wins, but I think chicken and 12 teen have have adapted to their opponents. So we'll see if blocking and grind are able to get any more wins here. Grind does have a nice attack, but I think 12 teen is going to be able to retreat to b8 if necessary. Now 12 teen is on the attack. What was that? Oh, okay, he's looking for bishop at f2, I guess. And I guess once the... Okay. I didn't think that would happen. Um, but 12 team for sure has enough to mate. Oh, wow, he let go of check. That is surprising. But all the squares are covered around 12 teams, so he's safe. And Chicken was the one who made it. Alright, well, the cheesy doodoo account was created 20 hours ago. And has done nothing but troll, so... That is going to be one of my rare bands here. The 12 teen looks like he's made in grind pretty soon, made in one. But chicken is going to have to live for 10 seconds. And Plotkin has a lot of pieces to drop. The advantage is that Chicken has a lot of time to think about how to defend. Plotkin is going to be pre-moving most all of these moves. Can Chicken castle? That's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. We're going to see a pawn promotion probably on h well the plaquen wants to eliminate one of these bishops he wants to promote a pawn now yeah h2 is where i thought the pawn would go it's four seconds to me uh, it's going to be that easy mate for plaquen that's made in one oh my god <clears throat> yeah and the that that is instructive for for people who try to uh, get get mates when their partner is dead is if you have a few pawns in hand you want to save those pawns to promote uh, so the best strategy is eliminate a bunch of pieces promote a pawn and then it should be pretty easy to win up a queen hey Platty. This is a good defensive move and attack at the same time from Chicken. So 
So 12 Dean has to watch out for. Yeah, he has to watch out for Queen of H8. Oh, I think Grind's going to win this one. This should be an easy Grind win. Looks like made him one. Oh, man. Wow. Clock, but Chicken got the mate. What's the time like? He was actually down He's time. So, so that was a mistake from Plotkin. Plotkin should have sat there. Our score is now 8 to 3. Avery and Chicken 12 to Chicken on the attack again, as usual. The story of this game, or of this series, seems to be that that grind attacks and waits for pieces. Plotkin plays super fast. Chicken attacks and Plotkin tries to defend. But here, honestly, grind doesn't have much of an attack. I suppose he wants a rook for c8. But that doesn't like mate. At best, it wins a queen. Twelve team seems to have a pretty safe king. So I was going to say they should have deprived Plotkin of a bishop, which they did. And Chicken gets to get more pieces around that king. Interesting, knight can't take because the knight defends d8. And she can find the mate. Chicken wants a knight and he gets it. He's going to win a queen. And Chicken is starting his attack. Chicken is up time. Now pawns are very good. Pawn plus a knight maybe. Or a queen. Or... Okay, now queen at f1. Queen at f1 is the move. And then a pawn would mate. And they're up two seconds and grind deprive him of one pawn or a bishop. Chicken is waiting to place the queen because if he doesn't get the pawn, then instead he's going to play pawn takes rook. But if he had a pawn in hand, he will play queen at f1. And, and this is instructive um, for the viewers because if you have a forced mate that requires a certain piece, you don't necessarily want to play all the moves in that sequence immediately. You want to wait to see if you get the piece you need. So our score is now looks like 10 to 3. 10 to 3 favoring chicken and 12 team. I believe we go to 16. Is that correct? The first to 16? Yep. And win by two. Chicken is somehow not dead. Yeah, the the G two pawn is heroically defending F three. So that early queen trade on the twelve team board is probably going to favor chicken because chicken seems to be attacking more than plotkin now a knight would be quite good for chicken to win the queen and he's got the knight there goes the queen the queen takes pawn threatening the rook our 
Our score right now is 12 to 3, favoring Chicken 12 Tan. Hey, Opera. Thanks for watching. Yeah, sometimes I miss the mate on one board because I'm transfixed to the other board. <laughs> so maybe I have to watch back my own VOD to see what happened there. Yeah, you might not see Opera uh, Guga because he's in disguise, but I assure you he's around somewhere. So if you haven't followed yet, I'd appreciate a follow so you could get notified of my future Bug House streams. We're covering as much of the Bug House World Championship as possible. This is the round robin portion. The next match is going to be at 1 p.m. on Saturday between the other two teams. And I'm not sure when the under 2000 section will be scheduled. So grind seems safe. Uh, really, all the action has happened on the, the chicken blocking board. Chicken has a great attack. And knight in is going to mate. Knight at f7. Uh, okay. He didn't have to sack on g8. Knight at f7 was sufficient. Queen takes, knight takes. Or, oh, maybe not. Actually, I take that back. I guess the knight guarded the corner square. The Plotkin team won this that game, by the way. Because Rook mated for a grind. Oh, okay. Wow. So... Our score right now is, is 12 to 4. So Chicken 12 team winning by about a 3 to 1 margin. Young UK Baller says match looking it might be right after the Speed Chess Championship Finals tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Look forward to covering that as well. Chicken on the attack again. Plotkin is going for a run. And that's a mate by chicken. And Plotkin, he seems to be trying really hard to pre-move almost every move, make every move as fast as possible. And in the process, I mean, he's given Chicken a lot of opportunities here. As Chicken is playing a little bit slower and attacking more deliberately. Oh, okay, there, uh, I think there's mate here. I guess, well, right now the bishop covers h6, so we can't play queen takes h6, which would otherwise mate. Probably rook at h7 is going to come. And then rook takes pawn. Oh, okay. That works also. And now we can see queen takes g7. Queen takes g7, knight at h5, pawn at mate. Or no, pawn at, and then pawn at g6. Yeah, two pawns mates. Yeah. Chicken, however, needs to live, and he can't. So, that game went the other way. Both teams had to sack too many pieces for that mate. Our score right now is 13 to 5, favoring 12 team chicken. And I think 12 teen chicken do best when 12 teen does not sack pieces while attacking. 
Um, because if he sacks too much and they get time, Lockin just has devastating attacks on Chicken in a time scramble. Oh, when I say time scramble, and Lockin is able to get these, these great saves when his partner's dead and he has like five seconds to win. Makes it easier for Blacken when he's up a queen. Hey Nick D21, thanks for watching. So Chicken is down three seconds. A pawn would be quite good for G2. So that's why Grind was waiting to give the pawn. Uh, now a rook would mate for Chicken. With the smothered mate, but he's not going to get it. Chicken realizing he just needs to live. So we have mate in one on the 12th team board with pawn at d2. Uh, but Chicken has to live for four seconds. And again, story of this match, Plotkin is up like a queen and a few pieces, and Chicken has to live. It's very difficult to do when you're playing against a strong international master. Still needs to make up two seconds. And he wasn't able to do it. it. Came down to less than one second. Ended with 0.6 seconds. So I believe 12 teen has hung a piece here, trying to go too fast. And Plotkin and Grind both have pretty good attacks. Grind is going to pick up some pieces here. This match is looking really good for Plotkin Grind. Plotkin has a safe king. Oh, Grind's king is less safe, but Grind is still on the attack. And now Plotkin picking up an extra queen with the fork here. And Chicken's king may be safe enough, but he's losing pieces in the process. So making it hard for 12th team. Weltine is actually up time now, though. And a rook would be quite good for 12-teen. The question is, can Plotkin hold a rook? And when, when a piece mates for your partner that it lets you put enormous pressure, you can go after the piece that also threatened mates. And that's what Chicken did. And while Plotkin was avoiding giving his queen, Plotkin fell into mate. Thank you for the follow from Platy34, who I believe is re retarded platypus on uh, on chess.com. Really appreciate the follow. Time is fairly equal. Chicken is on the attack. Chicken would like a knight. Chicken taking advantage of the fact that block and pre moved. And now Chicken has a great attack. He can move his knight to h3, pawn at g2, new knight at f. Okay, he's not using a new knight. This works too. Queen takes, and that's mate for Chicken. So our score right now is, what is it? Is it 15? Yeah, 15 to 6. So this could be the end of the match. If Chicken 12 teen win this game. Uh, 12 teens king a little vulnerable, uh, but he's opted to sack his, his uh, queen for safety. Grind is still on the attack. Knight at e5 seems pretty good for Grind.
So a rook would mate, uh, a bunch of diagonals would mate, like bishop check, knight takes, pawn takes, and keep attacking. A grind is up a slight amount of time. Fucking able to defend there. Fucking trying to get more pieces on the board to make his king safer and threaten trades. His trades are good for grind. Well, maybe not anymore. Now 12 teen is on the attack. A knight, if it were 12 teen's move, then a knight would mate for him. But it's not 12 teen's move. Grind gets... A, actually, chicken is up time on grind, so it's going to force grind to make a move. Grind opt in to go for a promotion. So I think 12 teen has mate here. I would play pawn at f2. Pawn at f2, and if rook takes, then bishop at h2. I mean, another pawn would be even better. Maybe 12 teen is waiting for a pawn. For pawn at f2, followed by pawn at h2. And we do see pawn at f2, and we see the bishop there. This move defends and attacks. But at some point he would like to take the rook if he can do so safely, and he's calculating whether he can run his king. Unfortunately with two queens that's going to be difficult, because we can see queen check, queen takes rook, and then a new queen at c8. So I don't think it's safe right now. 12 team may need to defend, or he may just put his king immediately on b7. I guess if he does that, then knight at d8 could be bad. So I think 12 team's best way to live is to attack. And this might go to grind because of the time situation here. Yeah, this, and he's able to even promote. <laughs> he doesn't have to use either of his two extra queens. New queen in. He's, okay. Queen takes. So grind has mate for sure. They've resigned it. So this match is still going on. The score is 15 to 7. Favor and chicken and 12 teen. Everyone else seems to be silent, but I'd love to hear more from others. Yo. What's up? Yo. Top 10 Yo. best bughouse players in the world right now. <laughs> Who are they? Where are they at? That's a great question. I thought I thought you said you were giving up top 10 lists for, for Lent. Nah, nah. Uh, 12 teen is flexing. He had mate in one. He did mate in two, so he could take an extra knight. And that is the end of the match. That is GG's. Um, Great series. Let's see if we can get some post game interviews. Um, Alright. Uh, you guys want to tag a bunch of people? Uh, let's see. I always forget what all their handles are. Okay, we have Jisugi, we have Chicken, we have Flockin, and I don't know, is Grind in the server? Oh, he is. Okay. So. We'll see if any of them will jump in. In the interim, I should mention that we have some upcoming matches. Um, on uh, Saturday at, I believe it's 1 p.m., you will see the other round robin of the open section. Uh, and that's going to be um, Caspi Israel and Pure Essence versus Gogo Burritos and J Kid Jr. And we have Gogo Burritos in this chat here. 
uh, and maybe he'll give his insights on that upcoming match. That we also have the in the under two thousand section. Um, young UK baller has said his match should be scheduled right after the speed chess championship tomorrow. I don't know when that is exactly, but assuming it doesn't conflict with the open section match, I'll try to cover that too. So Raven, do you want to tell us about your upcoming match? Uh, hmm. Any particular questions? Well, I, I saw you you played sort of a rematch last night against Chicken Twelve Team. Was that was that prep for uh, for tomorrow's match, or was it just kind of for fun? It was kind of for fun. It was like late in the day. Okay. We were, I don't know. And do you guys do you guys feel ready for this match? Uh, I was playing Presence earlier and. I think we'll do fine. Oh, Chicken is apparently in the call. Uh, Chicken. Uh, oh, 12 is in the call Hello. too. Hi. Chicken 12 team, con congratulations Hi. on your victory. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. So that that was a really interesting match to see because, I, first of all, it was a lot closer than last week's match. Uh, it seemed like it seemed like grind and plot can were able to to get up on time for large portions of that match and I think it was oh, okay keep going sorry oh go ahead no I think I was I was just made a lot of uh silly plays and Plotkin played well I was just down time a lot of those games we lost but yeah I'm happy to happy to win the match still it's, it's a tough team it was interesting because in both directions there were quite a few times when when there was mate on one board, uh, a mate in one, and then that board sat, and the other board uh, was able to pull out a victory. Um, so, and it was often the, it, it was often that there was mate on the twelve team board, mate in one, and then it became a a race between Plotkin and uh, between Plotkin and Chicken. So, so there were a few times where Chicken got like crazy victories in, in with like one second left, and uh, conversely, that there were quite a few times where Twelve Team got what what we saw as like like amazing like great mates that he set up, but he had to like sack a queen in the process, and then we looked over at the Plotkin board, and Plotkin had to win by five seconds up a queen, and. I, I guess it's tell us about that chicken because I guess it's it's pretty hard to play against a, a strong international master when he's up a queen. Uh, Plak is just just a beast in those time scrambles. Yeah, I think um, I think he played very well in the chessing portion. I think I also made a couple mistakes, but I definitely will give him credit for playing very well. And at at some point, uh, I, well, first of all, were you in a call with with twelve team? We were in a call, yeah. Did at at some point in the match, did you twelve team tell twelve team, you know, please stop sacking queens to get checkmates because it's so hard to live against Plotkin, or did you just green light him and say you would try your best to survive? Um, uh, I think. Uh, I mean, I think I didn't coordinate. I didn't tell him not to sack a queen. Uh, I think I sh maybe should have told him the situation if that was if I knew. But I think, uh, yeah, no, I didn't tell him that. And we, and we saw that there were a few instructive insights that that at least I picked out from watching that series. But one of them was that uh, the the way the way Plotkin would find these these checkmates by like these, these checkmates up a bunch of pieces. It seems pretty often he would simplify the position, trade off a bunch of pieces, and he would have an extra pawn, and he would just promote it. And then he would be up a queen, and it would be kind of an, an easy checkmate. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Keep your pawns in hand um, so that trade off all the pieces and promote a pawn uh, seemed to be a good plan of action. The, the other thing I noticed was that 
there were several times when when chicken had had a few pieces and he needed like one pawn or so to mate and a, a lot of players even up to the 2200 level would play out the whole move sequence uh until the pawn was needed but i saw chicken several times would would wait before playing out the move sequence just in case the pawn didn't come um uh, and he would because if the pawn didn't come he then he would play something different so which would involve either either a safer play or not sacking a piece or so forth that's something to watch out for from from the audience do, do you have any suggestions for for maiden technique in general to um to newer players or players like under 2200 uh maybe maybe janet has some thoughts cool what was the question just Something just as far as as far as maiden technique I, I i was saying that i saw several times that that chicken had um would, would need like one pawn to mate but he wouldn't play out like the whole sequence and then wait for the pawn he would he would wait before playing out the moves and so that if the pawn didn't come that he had the option of playing something different which might not compromise his position and leave him just in a bad right, position yeah. so i i yeah, guess the I question was exactly like like it. maiden maiden technique maiden technique in general did so do you have any like when you see when you see a mate on the board um like how, how do you proceed do you talk to your partner about it first or do you do you glance over your partner's board to see what'll hurt him? Do you see like well, what's going to come and so forth? Yeah, I'm I'm usually not the best at this stuff because <laughs> <laughs> I often uh, there's this one game where I think Chicken had mate. Um, we coordinated a mate where he mated with a rook and he had mate on his board, but it was a smother mate and the rook came and it mated me. Oh yeah, and yeah, I was just totally focused on his board. That I totally I I, uh, I was, I was focused on his board too. I I like reported the score, and they were like, "No, no, the other team won." <laughs> I was like, "What?" Yeah, I grind. Um, I think he he put up bishop on c five, and there was a rook on f eight that mated me. Um, that was pretty sneaky. So I I'm, I mess these situations up pretty often. Um, so probably chicken chicken is a bit better at uh answering that question. Um, it, I, yeah, I, I, I think, think that um I think that. I know the situation you're talking about, Chuck. I think it's more of a. Some people like to play play it out, but I I like to. I like to just keep the opponent on edge a little bit, but it's more of a personal preference than anything. I would say. So the the other story of this match seemed to be that, I I, I mean, in a lot in a lot of your previous matches, twelve team was the was the main attacker and chicken. Chicken was more playing, playing defense and the feeder role, but this this seemed to be kind of kind of the reverse, where where Chicken was just relentlessly attacking, and Grind on the other hand was attacking on the other board, and Plakin was defending, and Twelve Team was defending for a lot of like their early games, and of course that could change midway through the games if like the right flow didn't come, but but Plakin seemed to be just trying to to stay up time and and live and and let proc and let grind do the attacking plucking and grind since you're in the call do you want to talk about like your, your strategy there uh, did you guys talk about this beforehand or is that just kind of how it worked out uh well firstly i, I just want to say congrats to uh, 12 team and chicken they just absolutely destroyed us absolutely destroyed us i mean that was just spectacular it was a pleasure to watch i mean two in my opinion two amazing book house players uh we'll be right before the match started grind messaged me and said should we forfeit so we were actually <laughs> things i'm not even showing up no legit i can show you the skype message at 201 p.m he messaged me he's like you know what it's okay if we forfeit and i was like <laughs> i mean i was thinking about it i'm like maybe but no we decided to play we didn't have any match like pre-match thing going on like we didn't even know who's going to be the high board i thought i was going to be playing against 12 team so me playing against Chicken was interesting. Yeah, um, that's, but... so, so that that's another interesting thing that twelve team was lower rated than Chicken, which is unusual. So I guess you didn't expect that coming in. No, absolutely not. And the thing is, Grind's rating is very close to mine, so it's very possible that he's going to be higher rated than me at, at any match. So I actually didn't even know if he was higher rated than me going in because when I don't play with Grind, I lose. 
and so that anything is possible. Uh, with the so we didn't have any pre match thing going on, and uh, I did. There was a few times where I just completely killed grind because I was going crazy on chicken. There were a few times where I was able to chess out chicken because we were up enough time. But I think I had that experience going against cast wins, kind of same idea, like pure essence sacks everything. We're up on time, and then I have like five ten extra seconds, and that's enough. But yeah, the idea of simplifying makes it much easier. Uh, chicken plays a lot of anti pre moves, so it's some it's kind of hard to guess his moves. But uh, in the times I needed to chess him, I was successful, I think, overall. But look, at the end of the day, we just got destroyed. 16 to 7, that's really that's really tough. They're just much better than us. There's nothing to say. I mean, I think mo most people expected us to like lose 16 to 1, kind of like Blitz Bullet and Raven. So right. we were kind I, of even lucky. I mean, I mean you, guys, you guys say you did poorly, but, but you did much better than the other team did, I mean, so far. So that's looking um good for you as far as getting into the second place position going into the finals um so i i mean did i i mean do you think you're going to make the finals at this point or what what's your okay well, well first of all i disagree with that statement because it doesn't matter like we could lose 16 to 14 against uh chicken and uh 12 team it all matters in the last round because if blitz bullet win and raven win their last match uh, I mean, when their match against Caspi wins, which I don't know when it will happen. But if they win, then we're going to have to face them. And it's whoever wins will qualify to the final. So it doesn't matter about individual points. So w this this is not a sign of anything. And if we play, if we qualify to the finals, then, I mean, this is just a sign of things to come. If winning 16 to 7 is good, then we're just going to get obliterated. <laughs> well... As, uh, if you did make it to the finals, do you think you guys would do uh, do more prep for that, or or would you go into it the same as as any of these other matches? Absolutely, the same as any other match. I don't want to. I mean, I just play for the fun of it. I I treat this event kind of as, as fun. And whenever I prep, I usually do badly. And this kind of goes even when I play in real tournaments. Uh, there's no need for me to prep i feel like it psychs me out so much more to just go in there calm clear-headed i mean i literally just showered right before our match it was the definition of clear-headedness and i was i was happy to go and grind i think grind actually was quite ready too i don't know if he preps but i definitely did not yeah grind do you have any uh insights for the match here um basically just what uh blockin said but uh yeah i don't i don't prep either i didn't know who was going to be the higher low board either just uh taking it as it goes i mean we, we already knew going into the match we we're gonna lose so it's just it's just about fun uh, you you had some you had some great attacks there so uh, i i mean i mean you got you guys say you lost the match but the, there were some really exciting games there and uh grind showed showed people how to attack 12 team um like it's really hard to attack 12 team but grind got a lot of great positions against 12 team and plotkin showed us how to how to win how to get clutch wins with like five seconds until your team just loses so those those are really exciting games so i'm glad to see it and hope to see more of the same uh in in the next round robin match and in the finals Does anyone have, uh, we have a, a bunch of other people in the call here. Does anyone else have any questions for the, the competitors here? Or just comments in general? Yeah, what's eight divided by four? Do you know the answer? I believe there's several people here who know the answer to that question. Sure. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Okay. Um, no, good games and good luck to you guys in the last round against Caspi wins. But I think 12 team and Chicken have guaranteed making it to the finals, even if they get swept. Yes, good match. Good match and good luck also. Yeah, good luck. Good match again. Great job, everyone. You guys in the finals. And so I should mention that, uh, that Plotkin uh, streams. And he's been streaming every night for the past what, week or so. So you guys should all follow Little Plotkin. Uh, 
<laughs> Unfortunately, he doesn't he doesn't stream bug house very often, but he's streaming a lot of chess on um, on that other site on Lee Chess. Uh, he streams mostly bullet, but some longer games too. Plotkin, really exciting to watch. Uh, so you all should be following Plotkin. Uh, additionally, I believe that Twelve Teen and um, Blitz Bullet are going to start streaming soon. Uh, so that'll be exciting to watch. I don't, I don't know if they've come up with an account name yet, but we're looking forward to that in the future. Absolutely. All right, take care, everyone. Uh, take care. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we are going to raid. Um, does anyone have any suggestions in the chat of who to raid? Otherwise, we will look for a chess streamer. So I did pay out the prediction market, by the way. Um, I forgot to look at what the percentage was for one team versus the other in the predictions. Um, all right, we're scrolling down, looking for variants. If I don't find any variant st streaming right now, we'll probably raid a variant streamer. And there is one of those that I found. There was one point on Grind Plotkin. Okay, was that Mixu? Honestly, if I could, if I could bet channel points in this on my own thing, I would definitely throw one channel point on the underdog. It looks like there was what, like seven thousand, eight thousand channel points on the other side. So you could risk one channel point to win eight thousand. Seems like a good idea. All right, we're gonna raid uh, seven nine nine one Radden. Um, so right now he's streaming chess, but he streams variants. As well, often, um, Fog of War, four player chess, and variants of four player chess. And uh, he is at 47 followers right now. Once he gets to 50, he can get uh, affiliate on Twitch um, and then can get subs and bits and emotes and stuff like that. So let's get him a few more followers. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, for the next Bug House World Championship uh, match in the open section. Uh, which will be J Kid Jr. and Google Burritos versus Caspi Israel and Purescence. Have a great afternoon, everyone.